All right, so I'm in Florida right now. And as you can see, I have a pool at where I'm staying. And I also happen to bring my GoPro and my P-Bone, which means I could technically record trombone while I was on vacation. This is a great opportunity here, having a pool here. So I thought, what if I tried playing trombone underwater and record it with my GoPro? So that's what this video is. Um, this video, we're going to experiment and see if it's possible to play trombone underwater. All right, let's head to the testing. I think the strat is if I keep blowing air enough into it, it'll no water will be able to come in through the bell. So hopefully I can create like this little membrane, this pocket of air, so that sound can still travel through the water. So if I go under the water while I'm blowing, water won't be able to get in the bell. You know, that's not that bad actually. Water isn't that cold. All right, let's put you guys underwater. Oh, ah, okay. The one I heard, I think it made noise, but I'll have to go look back at the tape. All right, now the idea is if we keep the trombone oriented like this, the water won't be able to come back under because of the air created. So we're going to try playing it straight up and down. Oh, there was definitely more resistance when I did it that way. So I had to really like push against. All right, that's all the testing on the pool now. So after testing it, it seems like it is definitely possible to at least make a sound underwater with a brass instrument or rather plastic instrument. But it definitely takes a lot of air um, to pump it out and keep the water out. You need to keep air flowing through your instrument. And depending on how you orient it, um, it could be pretty tough. Um, unfortunately, the bubbles and like the interruption of the membrane at the front of the bell can make it hard to have a consistent sound. So it's a little bit hard to change pitch. But in the end, I would call this video a success. And I think you can indeed play trombone underwater.